1930s when they made Superman, and it was around the time of, you know, the camps. Oh, really? Holocaust. Uh, oh, wow. So oh, wow. he was meant to be a do things that other people couldn't to stop evil. So they made that character to cope with times because they couldn't really do anything about it. So they made a person in their mind that could, Superman. So Superman does have Jewish origins that oh, most wow. people don't really know. So it was created where? Uh, you know, uh, it was these two guys, uh, uh, Joe Schuster and Jerry Seeger. But they lived here in the States or they it, were? In the States. They were oh, in the okay, States okay. in Ohio. Uh, that's the, the okay, website okay, that I right. found it. Um, the website that you can look it up on is uh, Jewish, uh virtuallibrary.org. Wait, so he wasn't born connected. with the superpowers? Well, no. Superman, he... They did it because back then, you know, Jewish people were uh, taken from their home life in town and uh, taken to camps. Just like Superman had to leave his home world, Krypton, and move to Earth. Uh, try to change it up a little bit to help them cope with what they were going through. Man, that's a very interesting. Like you would fact, never really never... think about that. Like I didn't when I was watching Superman, I never thought, you know, like yeah. that was that was crazy like when I found that out. You know, I was just watching like comics and or listening reading comics and watching uh origin stories cuz that's you know, that's what I do. But wow. Yeah. Well, what do you think about that? I honestly did not know that. That's pretty I, I cool. didn't know that either. Most people don't. I think that's something that you got to spread around so people know that what Superman really means to just other than just American people. Wow, that's that's amazing. That's a yeah. that's that's uh, cool. Other than that, going through the origin story, you know, there was costumes over the years, the yellow, blue and red symbol. But then there was the first one where it was uh, a black background. At red S, oh and yeah, blue. and recently they had the all black costume when they were fighting back in Justice League. I just thought, what like do you think they might go back to old times and probably put in that new costume or that old costume, or you think they're gonna make a brand new one like in Justice League in, in the game Injustice? They have one where it's all gold lining. Uh, he kind of has a crown. I, I just want to know you guys' thoughts. What you think the new Superman movie is gonna be? Man, I think it's gonna go back to the, like the beginning. Yeah, like yeah. like the start of the whole thing. Yeah, because they they recently, you know, Henry Cavill he doesn't have a contract with Superman at all no more. He can't affiliate himself as Superman. Wow. So Wait, why not? They're gonna have to recast. I'm not exactly sure, but oh, okay, that's something. It was know. probably something about money. That's money why problem. you know. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Not, um, not, enough, not enough money that he's getting or something. Yeah, he wanted more, you know, probably because, um, you know, it's not the same thing. You know, once once you um, you play a role, um, you get famous pe- people identify with you and, and, and uh, actors, rightfully so, uh, you know, wants to get paid more because of... Uh, That's what happened with Tom Holland. Really? He wanted more money at, for his contract uh, for Spider-Man. Something about he wanted like a, a more than a twenty million dollar contract, which I don't know. Me personally, I think being a character nice. for a superhero or actor for a superhero is like more enough. Than... I know. Yeah, no, I get it's just it. like get it. people see you and they're like, "Oh, that's you know, Superman." Mm. That's now that's a big it. commitment. And the, um, like all these actors, I mean, they have to get in top shape to play these roles and think that they're always like that like in that type of physique no. it's not like that they just do it for the duration of recording making the movie so it's more realistic you got to look like a superhero yeah. you got to be in shape so it's a big commitment to be like that for years and years yeah like chris pratt do that plays as a star lord he had to train his body from being on the office as a an actor that was just on computer desk and that's right, typing. that's right. But yeah. he had to change himself into a whole superhero physique. So I could see, yeah, it's pretty difficult to do that. Him, Henry Cavill, like uh they or like they I would see interviews and Henry Cavill would say between scenes he'd be doing a, a rep 
real quick, doing oh, yeah. a quick set to keep on pumping because he has to keep on working out. I could probably play like a Nacho Libre or something. <laughs> 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 like oh my that's God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be that hard for me to do it. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, really? <laughs> Um, so, you know, that, that's pretty cool, man. You know, it's very interesting. All the facts. Um, um, and it's always that waiting to see what it's really going to look like. I know that a lot of people have ideas or they'll see clips of what the movie being made and all that. And you kind of put in your head what the movie is going to be like. But then all of a sudden it's just, it's just totally different than, yeah. than you expect it. it yeah, that's true. Because like sometimes I'll be looking at trailers on youtube but then i'll find out that it's actually people making the trailers so then it's completely different on what you're actually right. expecting and right. then you'll get let on that's why i don't really like look at youtube when i'm thinking of movies or shows because it's like i go on the news and see oh i see right right if they give you a chance to play a superhero uh which one would you play oh i'd pro- i'd probably play uh he's one of my favorite superheroes as well It'd probably be like Jaime Reyes, Blue Beetle. There's a movie that just came out. Um, I can't remember the actor's name, but he played in Cobra Kai. Yeah. And he did a really good job. He looks exactly like Jaime Reyes, but, you know, Jaime Reyes being one of the first Hispanic uh, heroes, you know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool to do. Mm -hmm. What about you, Liam? Probably. I got one Spider-Man. Why? What do you like about it? I don't know. It's just that. I mean, all the stunts that he do is pretty cool, and I want to learn how to do that stuff. But would you want to be, like, make them based on your own new Spider-Man? Another version of Peter Parker? Because, you know, there's a whole multiverse of Spider-Man. And that's the thing, with Spider-Man, right? Um, It's All of them are Peter Parker? Well, no, there's Ben Riley. That's the Scarlet Spider, right? Uh, There's uh, Miguel O'Hara. 2099 Spider-Man, where he basically gets uh, the powers that Spider-Man had, but they were in a vial, like a little tube. Mm. So he got injected by those powers and had basically all the powers that Spider-Man had, but kind of different. Like Miguel O'Hara has fangs um, and claws that... orange webs. Yeah, orange webs. Uh, He has fangs on his teeth. He has claws that help him stick to the walls instead of being, you know, just... Really? Yeah, so it's wow. he's different, but he's the same... Powers. Yeah, same powers. Miles Morales, he... He's like an, a Venom. Yeah, kind of. But he's human. Well, Venom is a symbiote. Venom is... But I know, but, like, he has claws, so does Venom. That's what I'm... Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, that's true. But Miles Morales, he has different powers too. I think yeah. Miles Morales has the best powers. Yeah, I, I like Miles Morales. He has uh, bioelectricity, so he's able to burst out electricity. He can go invisible. Yeah. He can, go, yeah, he can go invisible. It's like a camouflage mode that the spider had that bit him. So yeah, he wow. gained some pretty cool powers, other than just having super strength, climbing on walls like Spider Man does. I don't know if anybody knew this, but I think I know Alex did. The spider that Miles Morales got bit from was supposed to buy him. Yeah. What? That's true. It, it's from Earth 42. Mm-hmm. It was from a whole different Earth. And when he went into that machine from Spider-Man the Costume Universe, uh, the spider machine, whatever it is, mm-hmm. they sent him to Earth 42 where he was the prowler. So wow. in that whole world, because that spider went to a different dimension, there was never a Spider-Man to be created. Because that spider was supposed to bite Miles Morales in that dimension. And Miles Morales in this, and the other one was supposed to be a normal guy. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. You guys know a lot about these. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Basically all the time. <laughs> What's up, Will? I have basically, like, some knowledge about Spider-Man that nobody really knows about. Peter Parker was actually terrified of spiders, making his transformation into a Spider-Man even more impactful. Peter briefly gained four extra arms due to a failed attempt to rid himself of his powers. Spider-Man's origin story almost involved 
him being a mutant instead of being bitten by a radioactive spider. Spider-Man's love for pizza is well established, but it is originated from a Stan Lee's real life love for fo the food. Peter's scientific genius extends his webs, which he can be imbued with different properties like fire resistant or even taser like shocks. I honestly didn't know that. It's yeah, I think I heard something about the six arm thing. Um, I didn't know it was because of fear. I thought it was just like a different kind of Spider Man that had six arms. Like that comes with the power or something. Yeah. Did you know that the Doc Ock Spider Man Peter Parker? He didn't create those uh those arms for himself. He he took them as a as a trophy for beating Doc Ock, and then he used them for himself. I did so not know like that. So like an octopus yeah. or something. Yeah. So he uses Doc Ock's arms. That's why he is uh, Spider Man, right? It's just still Spider Man. No. Wait. So. What? <laughs> huh? I, but uh, I can't remember his name. I I'm pretty sure he's still Spider Man, but octopus? he just no. He's still Spider Man, but he. He just took uh, Doc Ock's arms as a trophy uh, to remember that he beat one of his uh, most like really foes. yeah like Doc Ock was not only a villain but he was also a mentor to Peter Parker as in like his he career to science stuff. yeah he taught him most of what he knows in science if, like if you watch Tobey Maguire Spider Man two he worked like side by side you know if you play the video game Spider Man uh, Insomniac he on a PS4, PS5, uh, he was his mentor. He taught him everything that he knew, but he just got, his mind got twisted due to the neural interface of the arms that Doc Ock. Wow. Yeah. Now, this is where, where um, in the, the comic comic books? These are comic books, but also the TV show. I think it was the 1990s uh, Spider-Man TV show. Man, I'm, I'm going to be learning a lot about superheroes with TV. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Right? We're, we're on a journey, man. <laughs> Unmasking yeah. heroes, taking off their capes. Yeah. And, uh, Absolutely. Do yeah. you, you got something else to share, Will? Or? It's about the Joker. He was created in 1940 by Bill Finger, Bob Kane, and Jerry Robinson. His origin story has changed many times over the years but he is often known for his clownish appearance and sadistic sense of humor and his chaotic crimes. He has no superpowers, but he is a brilliant criminal strategist and chemist. He has been portrayed by many actors in film and television, including Cesar Romano, Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, and Oh, oh Joaquin newest, Phoenix. Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix. That was the newest Joker one. What do you guys think about that movie, the latest one? It was really, uh, I think, more than just what how he became the Joker. Uh, obviously, a different way was, wasn't he just like a, a jester on like TV or something? I didn't really get to watch no. the movie that much. Oh, man. So he was he, he was a clown, you know, he, by trade. So he worked at a place where um, there were a whole bunch of clowns. Uh, and they would be hired to go to like hospitals and or birthday parties and so that's who he was and then so it was kind of like a, i guess a, a clown agency and um they had all different kinds of clowns they had and um his mom i found a mistake his mom got sick it was just just a weird i mean it just a lot of about how he grew up on his life and and then it it, it goes over what made him be so mad like people would treat him bad he did some things like you know he i can't remember exactly what set it off if you know if you guys want to comment uh, about it uh but it's a it's a really really good movie uh Joaquin Phoenix is a you know great actor. Man, he did a great job, but it's definitely the 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 dark side of. I know the Joker is dark, but it's the dark side of him how he became a Joker and and then yeah, man, he became a, a killer basically. Yeah, I do remember that. I I've also heard that it's more of a psychological version of how he became the Joker, which every reason why Joker became how he is was because like mental and uh, past that he had, but this one was. I don't know. It felt different. That's what I've heard. Yeah, no, it was same with like the new Batman. Batman I don't who know. laughs. Is that what you're talking about? No. Which one? Batman who laughs is a different. Uh, that's uh, no. He's talking about a, a a version of Batman that gets uh infected by Joker Venom. 
I think I think yeah, that's how it is. You he, saw that? Was that a movie or what, what? What? I'm uh, show? Uh, no, that's a that's a comic. It's a comic. It's a yeah. I was actually wondering why is he like very skinny and because like, this well the Joker is skinny himself, so him getting. He it, it, he transformed into the Joker, yeah. but it, he has the Batman suit on. So he's like Joker and Batman, but becomes evil, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. Man, I haven't seen that. I, I have the comic book. I I love that comic book. I mean, I've seen him in like video games and stuff like that. But Yeah. He's one of my favorite versions of uh, Batman. Other than that, yeah, that movie... I, I want to watch that. I've heard that really good things about yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's dark. It's dark. Um, but but uh, it's that's a good movie. It was a good piece of you know, work that they did. Very interesting. You you like the Joker? I mean, is that something? You know? Yeah, I, I've always liked the Joker and Harley Quinn. I, um, Harley Quinn is not with the Joker anymore. Um, I I just I just like the fact that back then they were they were like a couple. I understand the Joker did some stuff to Harley Quinn and it's not very good. I don't know, it's it's like it's interesting. You like it? You like you like the that the dynamic? crime crime okay. dynamic duo or something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um so you like that side of the story, you know? Yeah. Why? I find it really cool. So you like that movie um what, what was the movie? Uh, the Squad? Uh, Suicide Squad? Suicide Squad? Yeah. That's one of your Favorite movies? Yeah. I like the first Suicide Squad more than the newest one, the one with Peacemaker. Is that his name? Yeah. I don't like that one. I, that that second one, I don't know. It's not that. I've watched both. Got to watch both, but uh, I think the one with the new Joker. What is his name? He played as uh, Morbius. Jared Leto. Yeah. He played as Morbius. He played as Morbius. A Marvel movie uh, where <laughs> it's a uh, scientist that uh, gets a. Uh, or he injects basically bat DNA and becomes one of the first scientific oh, uh, Draculas, yeah. You know which one it is? Yeah. But I think his name is Jared Leto, if I'm not wrong. If yeah, it is. Pretty sure. Comments. Yeah, guys, so I mean, here we're talking, and, and um, obviously uh, Alex, more knowledge. Me, I'm trying to learn, you know, my, my kids. I think it's very important to have that kind of escape i want to say um to have you know in superhero it's a different world that i don't know you travel in it. and i remember it, as you get older you move away from that at least i did i know a lot of adults don't so I, all of a sudden i want to say when was it like in maybe 89 when when they came out with batman michael keaton when he played uh My, michael keaton he did yeah. make his first uh, i think movie in 1989 but uh he ended in 19 19- yeah, One, but I don't I think, think there was any other movies that I can remember between that movie mm-hmm. of Batman and I know the superhero movie that was uh, with a lot of, you know, powers. I think uh, that kind of starting from that movie, in my opinion, then we started seeing more hero movies. And then, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. And we, we'll talk about some of the other characters, you know, the Avengers and, you know, all that, you know, how the, that came about. But I, I just feel like um, there was a long period of time. You know, there were shows, but not so much movies. And, and it just brought more people either back or into the world, the superheroes that that were were out of it. And at least, you know, from, from looking from the outside. And I think it, it was a great thing for, for everyone to go watch superheroes go into the movies and everybody's clapping. And, you know, it's, it, they get so pumped, you know, about it. it it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think... I think- you know, people think about superheroes. I feel like the reason why they automatically go into Superman or Batman is because Superman and Batman are one of the oldest heroes, I think. Yeah. Probably. Because Superman started in 1938, which is crazy. That's a long time. Batman a... started 19, I think, 50s. I can't say which, like, what date. Uh, I think it was 19, 1956 they made their first movie or show but you definitely had comics before that you know right right <clears throat> other than that marvel they probably had a uh, spider-man he's, he's an old one too and he's one of their you know most uh original heroes based characters on each other yeah, from yeah. dc or- what i used superheroes why i like them so much is they felt like an escape from reality 
you know, not saying reality was bad, but it's like believing in something else or like living in another world where extraordinary is possible. Flying, right, yeah. super strength, like lifting trains. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome. I mean, yeah. Ever since you, you know, you were remember that you were little, you always play with different toys and <laughs> little mans and things like that. I mean, you always like it, there was no what do you call it, the mini blinds uh, yeah. cord that you saw one, you were using one of your figurines and attaching it to it, and you were, man, you you were gone. <laughs> you were into that world and whatever world that you were, you know, imagining, and, and it was pretty cool. Like you always been like that. So it's 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 something I think that that is just you were born like that. I don't think it it's um, it came about uh, uh, you know after something bad happened to you and you escaped into that. No, you were like yeah. That. It's you just really, something like I don't know. I uh, hope in the future it's the same with if I have, have kids. Yeah, that yeah. it's the same thing. Like they have the it's like creativity. It's not right. Yeah, because like. I don't think when, you know, when I was growing up, you guys really had us on electronics like that. No, no. I guess Liam so, yeah. is the one that... Yeah, he's Liam is in a different world. I mean, he's... Uh, when we when I was young, all it was was toys and maybe some TV. You know? right. But other than that, it was all I, for me. What about you? You I, should be talking about what that, too. Why are you just getting up on me? Like, I'm, I'm always in a different world. <laughs> Because you grew up in the world of technology, that's what we mean. No, no, it's that where you're, you know, you you were born into a different world. Where, you know, YouTube and... Huh? So I blame you on me? No, no, it's just an observation that it's just... I think, okay, so what Alex is trying to say, Liam, uh, to me, is that uh, because there wasn't so many, you know, there was not, there was no phones like that. There was no smartphone. there, There was no... Roblox, there was no, you know, all these games. It was really physical things that you had, and that's what he played with. Whether it was that Legos or you know, he was oh, always man. playing Legos. Oh, it was he was always we, playing we with had something. So many Legos, way more than that. It was you crazy. See in the garage, you can make a whole city, a whole yeah. world out of it. Yeah. Me and Wilito used for yeah, and and you to the gaming, and it's not your fault. It's actually their fault because. Eventually, when the PS4 came out or PS3, <laughs> you guys started playing and getting into that. It's just, I mean, not not that it was a bad thing. It's just that that's yeah. what he saw. Yeah. You know? Liam that's what he saw. He the... would just sit there. He was like, I don't know, two years old. He would just look at you, you know, guys playing. And that's just what he learned. And yeah. I, I know I'll be joking around a lot, but Liam is probably one of the best video gamers that I know. Yeah, he, but it's because he started at three years old playing. I know. I did. <laughs> yeah, Liam, you've been playing Fortnite since you were, I don't know, like four or three. But then before that, it was FIFA. You were two. He, uh, we played Minecraft because Minecraft for us. Came I want to keep on playing Minecraft. You should play with action figures. Yeah, action figures. So you, if you didn't go through it, so maybe you don't. I don't know. You can't miss it because you didn't go through it, but. It, it was cool, you know, to to play with stuff, physic, you know, physical things, and and I know that you you play with your friends outside a lot, and but like making, like creating something, you know, Alex and Willita were always creating like something, like Legos, with Play-Doh Legos. Or we that. would, me and Alex would probably also go outside making making like little houses. Remember? Oh, we remember that like, houses out of sticks, like, and I'd make put my action figures in it. Oh, that was like. Awesome. You, re- remember you remember the part where uh, you used to make a this um, Woody figurine fly up in the air? Yeah. So you know the little <laughs> the sticks on palm trees that uh, you can get they're a little flimsy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I grabbed those and they were flimsy, and you could catch some wind on it. So I grabbed some rubber bands. We went to that park one day. You guys took us, and I threw it, and I actually caught some air. It was like. What? I was like, I was like, that was like really cool seeing that. I think I was like six years old. Yeah, you guys played a lot, you know, outside. I mean, we didn't things, not, yeah. we didn't not try and have Liam play with toys. We bought, you know, I bought Liam toys yeah, when yeah. he was younger. But nobody wants to play with me, so. Well, because we were teenagers at the time. Wolito was 14 when you were born and I was 10, but I would have played with you. Uh, but, but you don't know. Because I'm 20 years old People catch me playing with toys And we're like bro what's wrong with you I can collect 
figurines. I just can't play. You play with, with pipe them. cleaners. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. That's like making sculptures. I don't know. Yeah, I, I make ask, cool things like I have, dragons. I ask if I can uh, play with you with your pipe cleaners, and then you say no because I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to keep on doing it. But uh, I, still- I don't know. That says something there. Liam got something. You know, <laughs> but Dang, bro, put it in to, um, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna ask something about the Suicide Squad. There's a, there's a new video game coming out, and oh yeah, I've there, seen that. uh, yeah, back onto that topic. But like, there's, there's, it's about the Suicide Squad. It's just this, uh, there's missions that you would have to do. You could be, I guess, you could be, um. Deadshot, you could be Bo- Captain Boomerang, you could be Shark, uh, Shark, King Shark, King Shark, Harley Quinn. There's no Joker in there, so, but it, yeah, because the main Suicide Squad was King Shark, uh, Deadshot, uh, Bo- Captain Boomerang, and that was supposed to be. And uh, I was actually really hoping if, um, who's that? Who's that character in the first Suicide Squad? The one the guy the guy that catches on flint on fire. El, he calls himself El Diablo or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So basically hmm. he he was shunned by his family. I wish, you know, I looked it up. I wanted to, but I forgot after the movie came out. But his name was El Diablo. I can't remember his first name and his last name, but he's uh Mexican descent. But he had the powers to, you know, use fire. But it was more in, it was more intense because uh he, you know, his parents said that he had powers of the devil. What? So they, he, he was banned from his family, uh, but he was able to turn himself. You know, he had more of uh, ancient, um, you know, Indian powers uh, that had him able to turn into a, a skeletal fire type being. Oh, wow. So when he got really angry, it was, it was pretty cool. He got a sentence to jail because of uh, arson, because he could control fire, which, you know. Man. But uh, they had to keep him in this uh, container, this fully fireproof container, so he wouldn't explode. Oh, wow. Like, his power, yeah. I would like to see who can, who he can go up against, if it's the Human Torch, you know, Johnny Storm from Fantastic Four. Right, or right. like, Or uh, Ghost Rider. Yeah, I, I would. Oh, let, cool. Yeah, that but like cool. that would be pretty cool to I've, see. I've I've noticed something because as we're talking about like El Diablo, isn't it? You said something about like him if he gets really really intense, he starts to his skull starts to show or something. Yeah, he turns into a skeletal like type being. I don't I don't want to go much into it because I don't know a lot about him. Uh, but he is able to turn himself. He doesn't even look like a man no more. He turns into a flaming skeleton, a giant skeleton, like a like a seven foot something type skeleton. Really, oh, with wow. uh, you know the feathers, mm-hmm. the you know that hat that they have, and you just have flames all around him, which was really cool. I think he was my favorite. Just so that he did not wow. make it into the second. But yeah, well, you were talking about the new Justice League game or uh, Suicide Squad. It's based on Brainiac taking over the Justice League and turning them evil. Flash, wow. Batman. The only person that the only Justice League character that they didn't turn evil was Wonder Woman, which I wish I knew why. Yeah, and I remember this was in the trailer. Uh, no real spoilers, but he's the Flash is the one that. He's pretty main into the storyline, and he, you know Diana Prince, the Wonder Woman. She's a, yes. she asked him, "How do I stop this, Barry Allen?" And he says, "You have to kill us." Wow. So I I hope that's not how the story ends. You know, I'm pretty sure there's people that have already finished it. Right, right. Please don't put that in the comments. <laughs> but, uh, that yeah, I would definitely. That's definitely on my like top five video games to play. Again, I don't know. I think uh, video games, um, like the Spider-Man video game, and those are kind of like hard to play. Those are pretty difficult, but I just you know I like superheroes a lot, so it's like 
those are my top mm. five games. It's like Spider Man uh, One, then it's Miles Morales, Spider Man, and then Spider Man Two, where it's Miles Morales and uh, Peter Parker in there. You get to play as both, and you get to play as Venom. Wow. You first Venom, you play as him too. I think, yeah, that's my favorite game easily. Yeah. Um. So I have a question. So going back to the um, uh, Superman, Superman and the Flash. Who do you think would win in the race? That's the Flash easily. Mm. I think the Flash would definitely. What? Be wait, wait, wait. What kind of race though? Like uh, on foot? A, or just a, a speed, speed race. race. A speed race. Flash easily. Flash is. He's testing the speed of light. Sure, Superman can see him when he's moving at high speeds, but... I don't know. I f- I people feel forget like... the Flash can... He could go back in time by breaking, you know, the space-time continuum. you breaking a, a wall that allows him to, you know, technically open a, the speed force and allows him to go at any point in time. I, don't know, I just feel like <laughs> Superman knows how fast the Flash is. He's gonna do something. He's gonna trip his foot or something. He's gonna do something. So he could. He, <laughs> he could, could. You know, he could easily break his leg, said. probably. But I like, mean, you know, or or I don't know, or or uses like, lasers and like punch him or something. But that's <laughs> like cheating. If you're talking <laughs> like, about you know. raw skill, it's the Flash <laughs> every day. I'd put a hundred dollars on that right now. Mm. Damn. All right. I put like. 80 bucks. But the, the thing is, the thing is with the Flash is that when he does going back in time, he can never fix the problem. Yeah, he, it never goes back to the way it was. Uh, it always goes like, I understand he's a very nice person, but like he messes up the timeline. Like he, he doesn't mean to do it, I guess. Yeah, so in, uh, in CW, The Flash... Jay Garrick is one of the versions of the Flash in the multiverse where, you know, he has a tin hat with wings on it, uh, kind of like a suit that has red shirt, uh, big lightning emblem, and blue pants. He says that, he explains to Barry because he's been doing it longer that when you go back in time, you don't make it go to the exact way it was. It's like, it's like if you break a mug, you know, or any kind of glass, you break it. You can put all the pieces back, but you're still gonna see that line oh, where the, where it broke. That's actually wow. that's exactly how he he breaks a mug and he says you can put the pieces exactly how it was, but it's not gonna be the same because there's still gonna be that cracked line. So I was yeah. like, I was like, Phew. you know what I'm wow. saying? <laughs> yeah. Right. So that's but, that's really but, deep. But yeah. when he breaks a timeline or uh, makes a um, uh. Like um, what is it called a ripple? A ripple, in space? or yeah, or like a flash. Uh, there's point. there's something called dead flash that chases him. Dark until, flash, yeah. Until he dies. Yeah, it's uh, he's like a guardian that stops Barry from changing time again. He's um, Jay Garrick, basically. No, but, he he's Hunter Zolomon. Hunter Zolomon is a villain. Called Zoom, and he takes the identity of Jake Eric. Oh, yeah. I've always wondered. Jay Garrick looks like Barry Allen's father, but I've all. Besides the, that point, is that I've always wondered why does Jay Garrick not wear a mask? Because if you think about it, his face, known as the Flash in that time in that Earth. But like, all he's wearing is a a, a suit and a. Hat. I don't know. I don't know if he has friends or neighbors or something. They're gonna be like, oh, he's he's the Flash and stuff like that. But like, why? Yeah, it's just like I don't know. I don't think the comics really thought about it. They just thought, oh, Clark Kent puts on some glasses, so he doesn't put glasses on when he's Superman and wears a suit, so he looks nothing like Superman. Or no, looks nothing like Clark Kent. You know, he puts his hair back, takes off the glasses, and takes off that either farm look or when he's at the Daily Bugle. Or shoot, not Daily Bugle. Yeah. Uh, Daily <laughs> Planet? Oh, God. Daily Planet? 
Planet. Yeah, Daily, Daily Planet. Planet. Daily Planet. Oh my God, yeah, Bugle is Spider Man. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, so he puts his hair back, put you know, takes off the glasses, and then boom, rips off the shirt, and he's Superman. Same thing with the Flash, Jake Eric. He just takes off the lab coat, uh, n- not showing that he's a physicist slash chemist, uh, and puts on the helmet. And did you know that the helmet came from uh, the War of the Americas? It's so it it comes the helmet comes from the War of the Americas. That was a war that happened, you know, in America, but like from civilians. He used it after he got his powers and turned it into one of the symbols of like peace or what he wanted to show himself as. Mm. So it wasn't just like, oh, I want to use this tin hat because I think it looks cool. He wanted to, there was a, another meaning behind it. So like the su- it was so a like the Superman they symbol. used to win the war. So, mm. but so, so like the Superman symbol. Superman symbol means hope instead of just Superman. Superman. Oh, it means both, right? Or yes. is it? I mean, he it says. Means so he says, a kid asked in the movie. He's like, the S does it mean Superman? He's like, no, it's a uh, a symbol that his fam. It's his family crest. It means hope. Uh, it's a okay. you know a flowing river. It keeps on going just like hope should. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I I for long as I thought it was Superman too, but. No, it was a family crest, and that's what they chose, the House of L. You know, because his real name is Cal L. His uh, his cousin is, uh, or his father's is Jor L. Uh, and his cousin is Kara Zor L. And his mom could be... Her last name is L or something. You know, I don't know his mom like that, like, as much as I know Jor L. Like, um, about J... Garrick Flash, there's also something that he can do with his hat. If he if he punches that, uh, I've seen this in the in a episode of the Flash, but like when he punches his hat really really hard, mm-hmm. it makes a ring of like waves waves to stop the villain or something like that. Yep. Oh, like a shield. Like it's it like creates boom, like boom, a boom, 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 and a sound it's a burst of waves to hit them. And sometimes, oh my gosh, uh, I, I swear they were running out of ideas to make episodes in season nine, but he used it basically as like how Captain America uses his shield, hitting all the characters, and then it co- goes back to him. So mm. he did that, and he was chan- channeling his lightning into the helmet, knocked down all the god speeds, and came right back to him. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, That's they really started funny. taking stuff straight um, out of Marvel. But, um, so, Dad and Lito. Did you guys know that the lightning bolt didn't give him powers? No. It was lightning something else. The chemicals. The chemicals left. that he landed into gave him the powers. The, the, well. uh, did you see the chemicals on the shelf? When no, I can't remember, no. Oh. So there was a shelf right here, and he was pulling down a chain from uh, from the... This is from the show. He was pulling down a chain... And the lightning uh, and the chemicals mixed with the lightning, and it gave him. That's awesome. I mean, I think uh, uh, it's a great conversation. Like I said, I mean, I uh, I wanna I wanted to have these kind of conversations uh, with you guys that that you can watch later. You know, when you're older, and maybe show your kids and and whatnot, and and and, and perhaps. Um, other uh, other folks can learn more about it and have you know at least have the time to talk to their sons or daughters you know about you know these superheroes I think is a it's a pretty cool world and and we all as 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 men at least most of us we um, we you know we grew up in 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 the make believe world and, mm-hmm. and I think all that that uh we wish will be Real. Real. Yeah, there's so many things <laughs> that I wish, like, God, and, let me just get hit by lightning and, like, not die and become super fast. Yeah. But, like, you also got to think about, like, what, if that, what the side effects are. If that were, re- yeah, like what Liam was saying. But 
you also have to think about, oh, do I really want this? Do I really, like, do I really need my family to to vanish out of thin air or, like, get shot by a bullet? <laughs> yeah. Get killed yeah. by, the, by one of the Joker's can- henchmen? There's right, always right. a canon event that every superhero or villain has to go to to become why they became that person. Like, Peter Parker has to lose his parents plus Uncle Ben, you know, after he becomes... Or, well, he loses Uncle Ben after he becomes Spider-Man. Or Superman gets taken from his home because it's about to bl- get destroyed and blow up. And he gets adopted by these people and they teach him to be humble, use his powers for good and not evil. Or, yeah. 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 So just, there's always a, a situation that happens uh, mm-hmm. that, that make them cross that line. Not the line, but that mentality. You know? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta protect. You know, so they, they probably, I don't know. It's uh, it's always those. Those are cool stories or 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 in backstories. You know that that makes them. You know who they are. They make it to me. That makes them more human. It does more closer to you, us, and then it kind of. That's why people can relate. Because I'm pretty sure there's a person out there. You know. That was adopted by other people, and so they can relate to Superman or lost right. a loved one, and they can relate to Spider-Man, Superman, or Batman. Even though Batman, I struggle with because he's like, he actually kills people, so it's like <laughs> you know, or like beats them until they death. So it's like, yeah. Well, Superman, he's like, he just gets the bad guy, and he's. Oh, I used it. to like the the old Batman that you know when I grew up, uh, the cartoons. Um, it was you know, they threw a punch. It would say the word pow, pow. And blam, you know, blam. And it was pretty cool, you know, when I was growing up <laughs> seeing that. Um, and of course, you know, I I, I, um, I grew up in Puerto Rico, and it was in Spanish, so it was a different, you know, that pow didn't. We say pow, you know what I mean? Like it was a different thing. <laughs> like <laughs> it, it, the way in in Puerto Rico, like for example, uh, if Spider Man aired in Puerto Rico, if it did or something like that, what uh, suit would he have? Because I know that there's multiple suits of Spider Man and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, he, I would. He would talk in Spanish. I know that yeah. for a fact, you know. But uh, as far as suits, I mean, I think. I, I, I think I know who his webs were, uh, would be. What? A chancla. A chancla? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be a web. Oh, like. We would be shooting out chanclas. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> oh, so many webs with chanclas. <laughs> Oh, uh, when you're talking about suits in uh <laughs> in Insomniac uh Spider-Man Miles Morales, they did Spider-Man 2. So it was the last recent game they used. They did make a suit for Miles Morales cuz he is not just black. He's he's Puerto Rican. He's right, right, right. black his by his dad, he's Puerto Rican by his mother. But they make him a Puerto Rican suit. It's the, wow. It's the star right here. Uh, blue and then red and white. Also, it would be him. It'd be him. <laughs> It'd be it, him. Yeah. Miles Morales is a Puerto Rican Spider-Man, but also African. Okay. So, so, uh, since his webs are gonna, uh, like what I said, With since chunkles. the webs are going to be chunkless, the emblem on his, on his chest? suit uh-huh. is going to be a chunkler. Wow. Well, wouldn't that make him like <laughs> Changla man. I know. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's not really like yeah. a new version of Spider Man. Okay. Chancleta hey. man. But you were talking about uh, <laughs> Batman, the one that you grew up was. Oh yeah, it was it was Bruno Diaz. Bruno Diaz. <laughs> yeah, Bruno Diaz. Uh, so he's my cousin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Bruno. That's Diaz. That's my dog. Yeah, yeah. No, Bruno. Bruno Diaz. Bruno. <laughs> um. Yeah, man, it was uh, it was awesome, and and um, but yeah, yeah, I didn't know who Bruce Wayne was, you know, I never heard of that name until you know it came over here. But the 
like when you look back and you see who was the first Batman you grew up watching, who did you say it was? Uh, I think it was Adam West. So Adam West was your Bruce Wayne slash Batman, but they named him Bruno, Bruno Diaz. Diaz. Yeah, it was that's Bruno really cool. Diaz. Yeah, that was his. That and was he his started name. making, you know, he his show started in 1966 to 68. Wow. It oh was man! Well, so it was well after it was over, and then when did it end? When sixty eight? Oh, it it ended in 68. ended in sixty eight. Okay, I was born in seventy three, so you know, but I I imagine I started watching it like I don't know seventy five, six, seven. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool, man. It, the the imagination that these guys had, the creators of the, you know these superheroes. You know, it's easier to imagine or to come up with ideas, I guess, you know, like what Liam just said, <laughs> but it's still, it's a, a variation of, an alternate of, you know, spy. I don't know. I just wonder how did they come up with this? Like all of a sudden. Yeah, I, you know, I could. And, uh, they, they just come up with a name, man. If I yeah, try to make but, a superhero by myself right now, it'd probably be based on another superhero. Right. To me, yeah, I don't like think I have that much creativity to make a a new character. Probably name him Alex Diaz, but I don't know what powers I would give. Because what powers I would want is probably what powers Superman or the Flash have, you know. But you gotta make something new. So you think it? What are you Team Flash or Team Superman? Are you oh, like I'm a su- I'm, I'm Spy. I mean, I, I'm shoot, Team Spider Man. I'm Flash. Man. I'm Flash all day. Flash or Superman? Well, I don't know. That, for me, it's hard. But <laughs> okay, okay. but like it's Flash for me. Yeah, for you me, you guys are crazy. It's Superman, man. You know, for me, I, it would be Superman I don't know because who like would win. It's just you know, like for me, it would be Superman because the thing is, is that if he gets there's it, there's a time where if he gets really, really, <laughs> really upset, care about who's in front of him, he'll he'll probably ab- obliterate anybody. Bro, he's Superman. Yeah, I Superman mean, does. There's a version of Superman that has. The power to create and destroy a universe. It's called a golden... I think it's one million Superman. And it's a whole golden suit. And he's. it's basically him spending five, only five minutes into the center of the sun. Because that's where he gets all his power. Wow. I know. So, so yeah, I do think like- Superman could probably beat... Definitely beat the Flash in... A fight, but I'm just saying, like the race, the race. He would beat him. Who cares? It depends if it's like (laughs) the Flash at full 100% speed force or Superman one million. I don't know. I don't know. Now it's hard. You gotta make what? What? Because you know what's gonna happen. They're gonna start. You know the race. Superman gonna turn around and go the opposite way. Waiting on him and then he's just gonna knock him out. Yeah, but that's like <laughs> cheating, man. Yeah, but. That's like I'm talking about a straight up skill. Like, yeah, you could definitely knock out, break, bringing the Flash's legs. <laughs> and, you know, every if the Flash didn't have his legs, then you know, like Could've nothing run. to him. Well, that's all he is—a man that can run well, fast. Wait uh, a minute! Crawl wait a minute! I'll crawl, man. Now, now you, I, I understand the Flash is fast. But if he had no legs, what if he used his arms? Yeah, he's and a bad. wheelchair. That's I don't. I don't think he was. No, but like, think about it. Think about it. No, because I'm, yeah, because like, if the Flash didn't have his legs, but he had a wheelchair and his arms, wouldn't he be going faster in the wheelchair? No, so, so. I don't. I don't think so. I don't so know. So what? Uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Oh, uh, Harrison Wells. Yes. Uh, so what he did, he put the reverse a, flash. He put a mock or like something in his um, wheelchair that made him charge up. Yeah, he it was like a battery that could. They said that in the show that it could basically charge up the whole city, but he was putting all that energy into him. He spent all those years charging himself. But also teaching the Flash just to try and destroy him. And he could have easily did it while the Flash that coma. You know? Even though I'm afraid of height. 
the flying thing can like be leveled. You know, you could either halfway up in the, all the way up in the air, or like in the middle, or you could levitate. Yes. But my question is, how do you fly when you're Superman? Superman, the gravity on Krypton is completely different from Superman. Plus, they have a red star, a red sun, which is basically a dying star. It's like when a star dies, it's so. How does it, he like fly? Red. Like that's my question. There's a like another <laughs> different setting that our sun has, which is yellow, that gives him his powers, that gives him more energy. I got a question for Alex. <laughs> Superman went into a red, like a a red a red solar powered room. Yeah, his powers would start draining away. That's what they would use if they ever wanted to capture Superman. Other than putting kryptonite, they would put red, like solar flares around him, and it would start diminishing his powers. Making so him that's human. so. Wouldn't red light take away his powers. Yeah, they would take away his powers and also make him. So how really would weak. how would the how would they like use the red sun? That's why they were basically humans on Krypton. Oh, they were basically humans on Krypton because they had their red sun. Now I don't know if we were we were to have a red sun. Yeah, we had a red sun. But what does that mean? Does does that mean we are stronger? Or plus, oh, they also said Krypton's gravitational pull was way heavier than Earth, so Superman was able to fly. There's multiple reasons, multiple stories on how Superman is able to fly, just like how Spider-Man can swing webs. One is machine, one is straight out of the arms, you know, it's like... No, like, what I mean is, like, does he, like, jump and then fly, or...? I think it is something to do with the lack of gravity and him jumping that allows him to fly for long. So, like, it's like... So, since um, gravity on Krypton was heavier, all he could do was was jump but on earth it's way less no he had no powers on krypton oh no no powers on krypton but you also got to worry about the kryptonian crystals there's probably like i uh, there's green that can take away his powers there's pink uh there's like orange yeah probably is. blue but the funny thing is if he had a pink one it's like a no, they do. Uh, if you, if you've ever watched the show Smallville, it shows all the different kinds. Red makes him angry and mean, so he starts turning into an evil Superman. Uh, orange, if human gets, you know, grabs an orange, they start gaining certain powers that Superman has. Like in Superman and Lois, like he did uh, gain some people gain superpowers. He has two twin sons. One has the powers of Superman. One doesn't. But Jonathan, the one that didn't, at least in this timeline, in this universe, he didn't have powers. So he got Kryptonite X. And it was a red or an orange yellowish crystal that gave him super strength, Mm -hmm. which made him better in football. So, Or some people that were agents had his emblem, didn't really know what it meant, but were kind of agents of Superman and allowed one to go faster, one to shoot lasers, one to be fly, one to be stronger. But nobody can be Superman. Nobody can be as good as him other than Supergirl or mm-hmm. Superwoman. Let us know what you think and what we talked about. Any uh, input that you have, any ideas or any anything you agree with or don't agree with uh, here, just put it in the comments. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. All right. See ya.